Okay, uh, welcome everyone to the 2021 Perfect Game Gulf Coast World Series at um, Orange Beach Gulf Shores and Foley. My name is Joe Willis. I'll be the tournament director. I'm going to go over just the general rules, uh, the do's and don'ts of the uh, tournament. Um, at the end, I will give my email address and my phone number. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Okay, to start with, this will be the game card. Um, the umpires will bring this game card to the each game, and then we will flip to see who's home or visitor in pool play. During bracket play, it'll be the higher seed. Um, after you flip and designate the home team, the home team will take the scorecard to the uh, scorekeeper of the home team. They will fill out each lineup, the inside each lineup, and then at the middle of the first, the uh, coach will take it to the base umpire. He'll keep the game card during the game. Um, all of this will be filled out by the tournament director. Um, at the plate meeting with both coaches, the umpires will tell you start time. They will write the start time right here. Both coaches will initial start time so everyone knows when the game officially starts. Um, the inside of the scorecard is pretty simple. Um, it'll have each team name here, and um, it'll have the uh, how many runs were scored each inning, and then the final scores will be put here, and then any uh, the rosters or the lineups will be put here. Uh, you can, if you want to, put your sub players, but you don't have to. Um, each pitcher and his outs that he recorded will be put down here. At the end of the game, each manager will look over his pitching and his scores and make sure that everything's correct and then they will sign it. Okay, make sure that you sign the card after the game is over so everything's correct. Okay, the umpires will ask you to sign it. Make sure you do sign the card. Okay, now that's how, that's the official game card. This is official score of the game so make sure everything is correct um it's easier to fix it after the game than it is after the tournament director gets it and inputs it in the system okay so that's the game card the next thing that i'm going to cover is on the 13 year olds there will be in and possibly some of the 14 year olds make sure that your kids have tennis shoes or turf shoes some of the fields we'll be playing on will have temporary mounds and we cannot wear spikes so if you're planning on pitching a kid and he's 13 or 14, make sure that he has a pair of uh, turf shoes or tennis shoes. Um, some of the fields have real, uh, have dirt mounds and some have temporary mounds. If you play on a field with temporary mound, you cannot wear spikes. All right. Um, I'm gonna go over the time limits and the mercy rules now. For a six inning game, it's 15 after two innings. That's right, 15 after two, 12 after three, and eight after four. That's a little bit different than some of you used to play in, but that's perfect game rule. 15 after two, 12 after three, eight after four. That's in a six inning game. In a seven inning game, it's 15 after three, 12 after four, and eight after five. Again, six innings, 15 after two, uh, 12 after 3, and 8 after 4. 7 in it is 15 after 3, 12 after 4, 8 after 5. Uh, the time limits for the uh, 7s and 8s, it will be 75 minutes, which is an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, the 9s through 13s will be 90 minutes, which is an hour and a half. And the 14s and up, will be um, an hour 45, which is 105 minutes. That's the time limits. Now, they can be adjusted due to weather or at the tournament director's discretion, but as a general note, that will be the time limit for all the games. Now, on championship games, all championship games, there will be 30 minutes added to the time limit. 30 minutes will be added to the time limit for all championship games. It doesn't matter what bracket you're in. There'll be a 30 minute added, 30 minutes added to each time limit to championship games. 
All right, uh, on the tiebreakers, um, this is in bracket play only. Um, it's a Texas tiebreaker. Bases loaded with one out. That's the last three hitters on base. That's not bad in the last three hitters. And one out. Texas tiebreaker. Okay? All right, the pitching rules. We are pitching... Uh, our rules are for outs. Um, the sevens and eights, the maximum is 15 per day. The maximum for the tournament is 30 outs. 15 per day or 30 outs. Okay, nines through 12, the maximum per day is 18 outs. The maximum for the tournament is 36 outs. Okay, 13s and 14, the maximum out per day is 21 outs. And the maximum for the tournament is 42. Now, if a pitcher in any age group pitches more than nine outs in one day, he must rest the next day. Um, if a pitcher hits into a double or triple play, it cannot make him illegal. But if he gets on the mound and he has two and one third or two and two thirds and he hits into a double or triple play, it will make him go over his nine outs and he'll have to sit the next day. <clears throat> um, the pitching violations, if a pitcher is protested and he is illegal, he will be ejected from the game as will the manager. If, he's found, if that team is found um, illegal again, it will be up to the tournament staff whether or not they're removed from the tournament. Um, we are using straight perfect game rules. All our rules are online. All the, um, the, um, roster rules are online. Um, all your offensive rules are online, everything else. The things that I covered today are just mainly the rules that you'll need to know, um, that you may not be able to find online. So if you have any questions after you see this video, this is my name, Joe Willis. Here's my email, Joe Willis at perfectgame.org. And my phone number is 334-538-9719. You can call or text me or you can send me an email and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you and good luck.